so and i really love this DIY. i really really love the way it came out guys like this is so they're so cute hi guys how you doing and welcome back to my channel so today i have another shoe diy for you guys and i'm going to be showing you how to diy those sandals so let's get straight into the video so these are some of the materials that you will need i'm going to list everything in the description box including the type of glue and pots that i use so first i lay my sandals on top of my fabric and then i just use a chalk to trace the shape Then afterwards, I cut around that shape and I did cut about 5 millimeters off because I knew that it was. Then, using this glue, this is a silicone based glue that I use. And then I just glued that fabric onto the shoe. Then afterwards I just trim away any excess. So when everything is dry, I then go on and I put on some porch. Then I just spread it around with a sponge. And I also waited for it to dry. What the porch will do is that it will make it hard and it will kind of make the fabric sort of like melt into the Then I also did the same thing with the top of the slide in. And then I just trim away any excess fabric. And then I now cut a strip of fabric which is going to be enough to cover the top part of the shoe and I also bear in mind that I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to sew it so I also made sure to leave a similar Then I sold it on the edge and then I turned it inside out and then I ironed it and then I also folded it in I also folded in the edges and I ironed them in as well. So here are my two strips. So the length of this strip is about three times the length of the top surface of the of my sandal. And then using some twine, I now started uh, doing a tucking stitch right in the middle to have that ruffled effect or gathered effect. Then I make sure that it's now comes down to the same length as the same length of the top part of the sandal.
and then when I was done, I sold it on. And that was all for the DIY, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really pleased with the results of this DIY. And uh, if you'd like to see more shoe DIYs, let me know in the comment section. If you do this DIY, please share with me the results. And I'm also going to put in some of my shoe DIYs at the end of this video. So please do check them out. I will also put in links and I would really appreciate your support. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please support and subscribe.